And there is the EGR. Now that is pretty blocked. Righto guys, so this weekend we are doing an intake and EGR clean on the old Hilux because I don't think it's ever been done and it's got, what's it got? 312,000 Ks on the clock. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like, but first let's go to the workshop and take everything apart. Let's go. Righto, so intake manifold clean and EGR clean on the Hilux. So basically to do this, I'm gonna take all of that off. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes. We'll take everything off as it comes. the EGR. Now that is pretty blocked. Nice. So I'll show you what we're at on the um, intake. So here we are. That's where the EGR sits. That's where the EGR gas has come through back into your intake. Now as you can see the intake there is pretty blocked as well. So we're going to take all of this off and see how bad it is right before it enters your old cylinder bores and combustion chambers. So yeah, let's get into it, take some more parts off and clean. Right, I just taking the intake manifold off and those ports can get this are pretty blocked. That one in particular is pretty bad there. Yeah. So I'm about to take the timing case cover off, put it on top dead center to close half the valves, and then bottom dead center to close the other half. Yeah, this is the intake here. It's a bit hard to see, but they're pretty blocked. Might just get a torch.
they're pretty blocked. But yeah, especially that one there, it's horrendous. And that's that. So yeah, can you put it on top dead center? Close half the valves, clean them, and the intake ports, close the other half and clean them. So yeah, got heaps to go first and then we can start cleaning those bits there. Get them ready to go back on for the tomorrow. Yeah. Righto, so we've blocked off that side of the valves, um, intake port side, what do you want to call it? Um, anyway, we've blocked off those intake ports, that's half of them. Now this half, they're closed, so we're on top dead centre here, so it's safe to clean all those valve um, bodies out, and then we'll put it on bottom dead centre, and we'll switch the tape from there to here, and we can clean them out, but for now, We'll clean these bad boys out. Let's get to it. Righto, so been cleaning everything up. Um, got most of that all clean. That's almost clean. Just got to give it one more wipe down. Um, clean the ports. I've just got to do one more flush out of those back ones there. Um, they're just coating in some engine cleaner. And then I'll blow them out, tidy up that surface there inside and out. And then we should be almost ready to put that intake manifold back on but yeah it has been a filthy job there is crap everywhere as you can see it is pretty bad i'll have to pressure wash this once i'm done but this is all the carbon i've got out of the intake manifold um and all the other bits and pieces that make up the intake and egr and yeah it is thick I've used a wire brush and a screwdriver to poke it out but that doesn't even even include what was in there so there was a heap of crap in there but it's all spread over here and on the ground and everywhere so yeah just got to finish cleaning up that boy cleaning up those ports and then hopefully we can start putting it back together and tomorrow finish it off so yeah I'll we'll keep going you guys keep watching Righto, everything is clean, those ports are clean, intake manifolds clean, intake parts are clean, EGR is clean, that's all the crap that was in it. Now it's ready to put back together. Right, so we are back and she's all back together as you can see. Um, it's been about a week, not gonna lie. Um, been a bit lazy and we're in lockdown so I can't actually wash this on the weekends at work because it's not essential. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wash it this week during at work because as you can see, I've still got all that black stuff there and there and everywhere over that side of the engine bay, but She's all back together, she's working well. She's running well again, which is good, but um, yeah, there's no downfalls really. Um, now, difference, is there a difference? I can't really tell, it's hard to tell. I can probably notice a little bit in the lower gears, like one, two, and three, when accelerating. It does want to take off a bit faster now. Um, 
But yeah, other than that, I can't really tell. Can't really go and test it. I've got a 5k limit on the on the what do you call it lockdown. So yeah, I'll, it'll be interesting to see in the future when we are allowed to go out if this will perform better on the road, even sitting at 100 k's an hour now that's able to breathe. So yeah, that's about it. So yeah, it will be interesting to see in the future if this does any better on the road sitting at i don't know highway highway k's or whatever and um yeah it will be interesting to see if it does any better fuel economy wise but i was getting good fuel economy surprisingly i was getting about 600 k's a tank on highway driving but we'll see if that changes up to 650 a tank so that will be interesting and i'll probably have to give you guys an update later in the future on how it goes but yeah as of now i can't really test it so i can only go off what i've felt driving to and from work and all that so yeah um thanks for staying with this one and thanks for watching the hilux intake clean on this um it was a fair job to do i would say and yeah um next video i'm doing a cheeky install on a throttle controller so stay tuned for that one Cheers for watching guys, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.